Hello there, and welcome back to some Crusader Kings free with the Bronze Age mod. We're the King of My Kenny, and we're doing very well. Achilles is really being the MVP at the moment. He's a great, great warrior leading our armies into battle. We have our son here. He is the King of Crete, and hopefully we'll be able to inherit that land and disband it later on so we can be more in, uh, in charge of the Aegean. All these islands are very powerful. I do... not that one. A lot of these islands are very powerful, so I do want to try and take over some of their lands at some point. But for now though, my main priority is um, taking all this land. And we need some more prestige to do it, so we're going to call a hunt. Sound the horn at once. We gain a lot of money. We really are rich. Injured? Who's injured? The uh, Sind Nikos of Ginfion, the, the man with the horns. Where is the horns? I don't see his sigil around here at all. Oh, he's the man of the star. Okay, well, he's quite a powerful lord. We can tend to him or we can press on for the prestige. I'd much rather have the prestige than him having his life. Excellent. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses, leave the hills behind, and the servants prepare the hare. Why do I need servants to prepare a hare? Have you ever, like, taken a hare? It's very easy. Oh, well, well we gain prestige for having our say, servants take a hare for us. Maybe hares were bigger back then. It is my domain. I wouldn't mind any costs here. Yeah, Seltai's decision would be unique, but it's not really what I want. Income per stress level, no. Organized muster, just none of these things are really tickling my fancy anymore, but I do like the world focus. What we're going to do is we're going to take... I'm going to take it is my domain, and I might switch over to diplomacy here. Monthly prestige... Yeah, we're going to take that, Majesty Focus, and hopefully go through and take all that there. As for these, no, peasants are going to be slaughtered. Not that many of them. It shouldn't take uh, too much work. We'll raise the entire army, of course, though, because, well, why wouldn't we? We're going to go straight over here and deal with them. Who's calling me? My ally here, my uh, son, is calling me against two women who have more forces than him. They are warring for the prince's claim on Crete. We cannot allow Crete to fall, so we are going to accept this war for once. They, I'm trying to pause this, but I was just all over the place. There's a couple of armies I've already gone over. Good. Can you guys wait for me, perhaps? Oh, I don't want to do two landings. Looks like I'm going to have to, though. That's going to be a lot of money gone. But we'll land over here, and then we will uh, go over and deal with these women. Oh, don't say he's leaving again. Uh, where's he going? These damned peasants. We'll go over and deal with their armies later on. Looks like they're in a pretty strong spot, though. These damn peasants. Where do they go now? Are they just sailing straight around? Oh, back where they started, of course. Well, let's go and destroy them, please. My wife is pregnant. Terrific. And the peasants are defeated as well. Terrific. Let's see about this man. He can fight in quite well at it. So we are going to negotiate his release for a recruitment. Good man, so be it. And we've got to spend our money again, because we spent money to get on ships just to sail around a bloody island. We're on a bit of a tour there with Achilles. Let's sail over and let's deal with these fours. We'll land straight onto the beaches and show them what for. We will, of course, have a bit of a debuff, seeing as we're landing here, but it's Achilles. Did you not watch the movie Troy? He can land on a beach and destroy an enemy, if we even land on time. No. Well, we'll land here and we'll march straight off to their army and show them what for in a grand battle. Education at an end. My grandson Perseus is incredibly useless, but he's probably better than his father, who's a very ugly man here. Excellent. It was a slaughter. Victory there. We lost 300. We killed 900. Details. Achilles did kill 50 people. Well done, Achilles. Let's give these other ones. They were just peasants. A steward will give that to the uh, lady here, Calantis of Tegea. Very good. Well, yes, Crete is surely going to defeat these fools, and then somebody will not have a uh, claim anymore. Good, we'll uh, go for a siege here. Should work quite well. Trappings of Majesty. I stand above my subjects as a sovereign ruler, unequaled in the realm. Dressing the part with re resplendent garments and jewellery would serve as a subtle reminder to everyone that I am in charge. Ha, that's a lot of money. 
I am greedy though. I'd rather gain piety than lose prestige, however. Let's go back to full speed though, because we are sieging somewhere here. A daughter has been born. We will not be leaving her to die as my wife insists. We'll be gaining the prestige from her. This is my new wife though, so I did have a reason to kill off my ex-wife. She's killing my damn children. How could I have never noticed? Huh. She didn't even give me the chance to see them. A battle is raging over here and it looks like our friends are going to win without any problem and probably end the war. No 98%. I don't know where else they're going to go. They have been sorely defeated. Let's try and uh, destroy them off here. Yes, that would be 100%. Excellent. Can I just disband my army here? I can. Oh no, my son has died. You fool, you had one job. You had one job. Your job was to survive long enough for me to take over. He died gout ridden. He has died. And my family has not taken over as the primary heirs. Instead, Crete now has my colony over here. However, is Prince Perseus my heir? Prince Perseus is my heir. So my heir will have a claim on the kingdom, will he not? He will. Excellent. So we will support him if he goes for it, or if we become him, we will simply war to take it. It won't be hard. Is there anything I can do against you, though? I can just straight up press Prince Perseus' claims, but that's not the Perseus, is it? Yes, this is the uh, the Perseus. No, it's not. It's the other one. Well, let's not press a different Perseus' claim. Let's stick to our son. Declare war, reign. Uh, his claims there? No, I'm, I'm not going to destabilize my my heir's realm for short-term gains. Let's have a look at you, though. You have a claim where? See, I have a claim there. They are supposedly stronger, but you know, I don't believe that. Let's go ahead and raise our army, and let's go straight over to besieging this tribe here. Toriental grief! Life has never been easy, but it feels like the loss of my son, Physius, has pushed me over the edge. I still remember him as a baby, so tiny and fragile. Despite that, he survived growing up Growing older until now when he suddenly stopped. Huh. Oh, that's a lot of stress gone. I must press on. Frozen grief. I don't think I'm going to last too long anyway. Let's just uh, lower our stress level there. I don't see myself living to be an old man with this character. We already are an old man, but I don't see myself getting much further. The lure of language. Ruling the multicultural... Uh, Grizzly of Mikey comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated when they cannot speak their native tongue in court, breeding resentment. My vassal elder Pelagios suggests that I could sim significantly improve relations with my Pelagasian subjects by learning to speak their language. I'd rather gain the prestige, I'm afraid. Heresy! My Senians in Calophenia. It's nothing to do with me. I. Oh, wait, these are people actually uh, seeing the lights. Well, that's good. I'm glad they're actually seeing the light. The siege over there is seven months. Our siege here is three months. Can I detach people? I can. I only use this many, though. The other army, you are high quality. Right, let's not leave our chariots behind. If we're going to leave somebody behind, we're going to leave some levies. Hopefully that's enough, because I want to go off and fight these fools. Uh, yes, that is enough people, so we'll leave them there to continue with the siege and we'll destroy these fools with our superior armies. They have more men, but I believe in our forces. We are very, very strong. 2,500 against 3,500. We are outnumbered. They have 1,000 extra men, but that's never stopped us before. Oh, shit, now they have twice as many men as us. We're still slaughtering them, though. No, this, this could very well go our way. We're killing them at a rate of nearly 2 to 1, but I, I don't think we're actually going to win this. Oh wow, this will be our first lost battle in a very long time, but it was so close. If we did have our other troops with us, we would have seen a victory there. Let's try and rally ourselves together in the mountains. Let's get out of there, please, men. Uh, defeat. We killed 1,089. We lost 784. That's a big big loss for us. 
Lost three champions as well. We lost um, Wadus of Solinari, Kinesimos of Fermi, and uh, Wadus of Salamis. Achilles, though, killed 90 people. Achilles was definitely doing his job. So let's get our forces together over here. It looks like we are going. No, we're going. We're actually going over here. So let's just wait for all of these forces to arrive. And then we will go over and destroy the force. But it looks like we are actually going to lose our capital. Wait, did I send over the army without a force? No, no I didn't. Me. Let's put me in charge here so we don't lose our capital. Oh, we'll lose our capital so that I don't get caught up in the loss of the capital. Excellent. I would like Achilles in charge. He seems to be the best man for it. And let's go straight back over to our capital and show them that we mean business. Do we have all of the champions? No, there's three more champions somewhere. Let's go ahead and raise them here. Looks like it'll only be the uh, the three, but we will uh, amass together anyway. Oh no, there's a few more people. They have taken my capital. So we will uh, take their lives. No, now they know to run. Let's chase them down. Excellent, we have caught them and it will surely be a slaughter. Oh no, uh, this man Acteos has been injured. That's a shame. And I have had a daughter born. Well, let's have her named. Um, after the mother, yes. No, after Kiki. Excellent, prestige will be gained. And an enemy has been slaughtered. Let's go and uh, retake our capital, because that is ultimately very important. Did we lose control? We did lose control. Uh, my uh, child here will not stop crying while well, I'm not terribly happy about that. A lot of control has actually gone down around here. As my capital is going to take a long time to get back. That's not great. That's not great at all. But we have got it back, so let's go and deal another blow to these fools. Hopefully we'll arrive before they win that siege. No, nope, we just scared them off anyway. Good, we will catch them here, and it will be a slaughter as usual. 39% though, not quite 100. Let's get our cantsman here to improve control in the capital once more. That'll do us a great honour. My uh, money though is going down a lot. Lovely passage, but dread. Children receive some extra skill points. Let's go with that. What I really want here, though, is the prestige, but we now have so much of it. Might have to switch back to money. Social. Oh, we're not actually besieging. I just wasted a lot of time. Terribly sorry. I thought I was doing something good here. Let's lose 100 men, but press the advantage and start to besiege their capital. Social manipulation. First time I happened, I barely gave it. Oh, not people talking nonsense in the court again. How dare you! I'll gain dread, which will affect me in many positive ways. Whoa, 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 what's this? I didn't expect us to get defeated. I thought we'd smash them and then simply walk on through and seize the capital. I did not expect that at all. Oh. And my daughter has died, giving me another stress break, perhaps. No, just about beat it. Uh, this, this war is very unusual. We've lost two battles now. Two. They just lost a lot of money to do that. They believe they know we'll lose. Okay, well let's uh, let's go back around here and hopefully we can get some forces back together. We are very low on. It. I don't think we're going to reinforce because we lack the money. Is there anybody we can ransom here? Sixty-five gold. Sixty-five gold. Sixty-five gold. But they are currently uh, waiting on that. They will not accept for that. A good deal and a good deal. Start to spend this money. Oh, and seven gold. We'll wait on that then. 56, I'll take it. I'll have to wait on these other chaps. A good deal. You there? Got any money for me? No. So that'll come through and reinforce our forces quite well. Also, we need a new commander here. Achilles, please get in charge. Please get back over there to besiege this. While we reinforce your forces. Actually, let's uh, get back over here and deal a blow to their army, hopefully on our capital province. Don't let them siege it again. 
48 days. How long till we arrive? 28 days. Well, hopefully it stays that way. Good, they are running away. Terrific. Let's hope that we can have a battle, because we do want to cause some stress to them. Oh, they actually have a lot of skirmishes themselves. Oh, I see why we've been struggling here. This battle might be a loss again. It's very close. Yes, this will be a victory. Very good. Always believe in ourselves. We have had another daughter. We'll name her not after the uh, same one again, but after our sister Anna. Mana will do uh, very well there for a name. Excellent. I was getting worried here that we might have actually lost, but instead our glory is widely known. I have one of my guys here to get killed, though. Dismiss that. Let's raise up the uh, rest of our forces once these troops are out of the way. Next, let's merge you all up. Let's hope that we can get this 100%. What if we go and seize this before they can uh, start getting back at us? No, instead, let's actually go over and fight them in the hills. That should get it. Not quite. Still have not defeated them, but now we have our army nearly full up to strength, so there's no way they're going to be coming back from that. Excellent. 100% it is. All this for one little province, but it will definitely be worth it. Whose land is here? You, just a simple man. I'm going to make another vassal instead. Let's see who was a part of this battle, shall we? Anybody who's not a lord, perhaps? No, everyone was a lord. So let's just go through our realm. Find carrot in the realm. And let's sort by prow. No, not learning. Sort by prowess. Let's see if there's a great warrior. Hypesies. Hypesius. The hype is real. This man is a great fighter. He's part of a family. They uh, don't have their lands anymore. Okay. Oh, Hypesius. We're going to grant you a title, good man. Congratulations. I've been overwhelmed by stress, though. Hopefully that doesn't last forever. We need to fix our economy. It's been quite destroyed with all this. A ransom offer 60 gold I will accept. Two grand battles once more. I think what we did there is we just ran out of our uh, primary troops a bit too soon. And uh, that's what led to a couple of losses there. Excellent. We've actually learned about early hoplites now. Empowered aristocracy, fast opinion. Original divisioning, what does this do? Uh, doesn't actually tell me what it does. Yes, it does. We click on it. Cultural head is fascinated by this innovation boosts. No, it doesn't actually tell me. Okay, well, let's uh, continue with empowered aristocracy instead then. Very good. So we do have hoplite options now. The military, we can create them. Early hoplites, 150 gold, 40 and 78. My god. I want hoplites and a lot of them. Nah, that's what we're going to be saving up for now. We want to save up so we can afford hoplites. Any of you perks going to help me here? Heart of the family? Well, could go through that. Mental break imposter. Recently feel like I'm not worthy of the kingdom. Do other rulers doubt themselves as I doubt myself? I try to be good and honest, but with every proclamation and law, I can see lies of omission and little errors, twisting, little errors you say, like the grammar things, uh, twisting my meaning. Others of my station are so diligent and open, so why must I be cursed with this deceitful nature? We become prolificate, confider, losing a lot of stress there. Let's uh, lose stress and gain a confider, because then we can talk to our confidants. Excellent. With my... I don't think we actually had any confidant there. But still we have lost stress. Let's uh, let's save up some money here. What is this? Greetings, Griselius, my keen. I have heard good things about you and I am interested in starting a written chat. This is my brother-in-law. The current king over there. Politely decline. Frame it. Let's take the prestige and run with it, really. Renown, please get up to a thousand again. Taxi, no. Peasants again. 
and they're all going straight off to sea to simply land back once more. Or well, let's raise the army and let's go deal with them the only way they understand. Which is apparently running all the way over here. How do these peasants have so much money to keep doing this? I must be the father. Yes, we're not going to gain any more stress by going against our wife here. Let's just defeat some peasants. Wait, what? They're not defeated? Oh, there are more of them. Well, let's then disband this here army. After three months to return home. I'd rather not lose all my money, though. What we're going to do is we're going to let them do that. Put a marker down here. And raise a local force in one day. Now, with this local force... So we're going to run straight over there and deal with these fools. Excellent. Enforce demands. Very good. This man here, as usual, the peasant can fight. So we'll recruit him for it. Always good to have the uh, the guys here able to fight. All right, well, that'll do for this episode. We uh, have great, gained a bit more land. I wouldn't mind continuing to go around in this coast here, though. Only a raiding expedition. I was hoping that these other vassals would have gained some claims there. I want all of these lands as well, though, so let's uh, let's start fabricating down there once we have some hoplites. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Good, uh, goodbye.